Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are going to discuss today conic section. This is very very important topic, which includes uh, circle, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola. All these are part of conic section. So we will discuss one by one. But let us uh, try to understand what is conic and why this is called conic section. So for this, uh, we are going to start from the basic of how this conic will form and what kind of section is uh, possible by uh, plane. So conic is nothing else, but uh, you can think about uh, a straight line and that a straight line uh, is like, uh, see here is a straight line. If I write here, this is a straight line, right? And uh, this is uh, another line that is called uh, generator line say this is another line and that line makes an angle of alpha with it right so if this line uh, will make an angle alpha say and uh, this line generated keeping in the mind that this angle is constant then what will happen if you think that this line will rotate about this and then a circle will form right now a circular part will form and a double napped cone will form if this line will rotate like this, then what will happen? A, a cone will form that will have double lap. Similarly, uh, downward also there will be a cone will form. So this type of figure will form, isn't it? Let me draw this properly and so that you will be able to understand it. So there will be a cone like a structure will form and that will be a double napped cone it is called right now. So let me draw this diagram separately so that uh, it will not waste time and I am going to pause this video. So uh, thereafter I will come back once the diagram will be formed right now. So here this is the type of uh, basically a double nap cone will form right now. So uh, this cone uh, is uh, generated which has double nap. This is called cone, double nap cone. Right now, this line is called generator and this one is called double nap cone. So, we can uh, say uh, this line is an upper nappy, uh, upper nappy, N -A -double -P -E, upper nappy, and this one is called lower nappy, lower nappy, right now, lower nappy. And uh, there are two nappy formed, right now, that is upper part and lower part this point is called v and that is called vertex you know this point is called vertex vertex right this line is called also generator generator right and that is an angle of rotation that is an angle this one is called an axis because it is an axis around which this is the generator generator generates double nappy so these are few points of which is there. Now this will form double nappy cone. So the topic is we are going to discuss today that is conic section. Conic section. Right. The topic is conic section. And conic section is what? Conic age formed if a line. How this will form? If a line makes an angle alpha with a vertical line vertical line called an axis vertical line called axis axis and a revolve around a revolve around the line around the line with constant angle constant angle then double nappy double nappy cone will form cone will form will form double nappy cone will form Cone will form, right? V is vertex. This V is called vertex, right? So when a plane cut this 
double nappy any part of the double nappy then uh, a section will form that is called conic section when this when this double nappy double nappy cone is cut by a plane cut by a plane by a plane then section of conic section of cone is called conic section it's called conic section it's called conic section or section of conic right the surface generated surface generated is double napped double napped right circular right circular hollow cone hollow cone right now right circular hollow cone hollow hollow cone right hollow cone let uh, this plane uh, conic is cut by a plane and this plane makes an angle beta with the axis of this conic this is a plane right and that one is conic so uh, conic if this plane cut intersect the conic this is a plane right and uh, that is a conic so if this uh, plane this uh, cut by conic this is a conic right now. so cone is there and uh, this is a plane so cone and plane this plane cuts but makes an angle beta with this axis of um, conic then what will happen then following situations will arrive let a plane let a plane cut let a plane cut this cone one part of cone right now cone and makes an angle makes an angle beta with the axis of with the axis of right circular cone right circular double napped cone then following situation will arise double napped cone then following cases will arise following cases will arise right cases will arise right case first when beta is equal to 90 degree then conic is called circle conic is called circle conic is called circle case 2 when beta is less than 90 but greater than alpha then conic is called ellipse conic is called ellipse ellipse third when alpha is equal to beta then conic is called parabola conic is called parabola parabola right and fourth when beta is less than alpha and greater than zero then conic is called hyperbola conic is called hyperbola hyperbola right let us see how this will cut and what will be the shape of this each one of type circle parabola ellipse or hyperbola will form so let us uh, draw the diagram for it therefore when plane cuts plane cuts other than the vertex other than the vertex of double napped cone of double napped cone cone 
then the situations for beta is equal to 90 degree for beta is 90 degree beta is 90 degree it means the plane is perpendicular that is the plane is perpendicular perpendicular the plane is perpendicular plane is perpendicular to perpendicular to the axis of axis of conic right then it will form a circle the circle you can see there if uh, this is a beta is 90 degree then area that will cut remove the upper portion if you remove the upper portion you will get this type of area and that will be a circle right so here you will get a circle now the next thing is that when beta is less than 90 degree when beta is less than 90 degree and greater than alpha when beta is when beta is greater than 90 degree, uh, less than 90 degree but greater than alpha, is 2. When beta is greater than alpha but less than 90 degree, then the section will be obtained like this, you know. Then the section cut by plane, cut by plane, has A different form than circle, a different form than circle, than circle, where two perpendicular axes are different passing through center, where two perpendicular axes, perpendicular axis passing through center passing through center are of different length are of different length different length hence it form an ellipse right now hence it is called an ellipse hence it will form ellipse ellipse right that is the, that is structure is called that is shape is called ellipse right like this that shape is called ellipse that shape is called ellipse right like this so here is an ellipse this is a structure which is defined and we can say this is an ellipse so this one is ellipse right here this perpendicular length through axis will be different and this perpendicular length is something different while in circle lengths are same so circle is like this shape of circle is like this here this type of a structure is formed right now this type of a structure is formed the here length perpendicular length are same but here uh, you can see here that perpendicular lengths are same here the difference of these two is same this length are same two perpendicular length are same right here a b and c d are equal a b is equal to c d but and this is the structure that is a circular structure here uh, what type of shape will form that have different lengths are different right now it will looks like this so here the length of perpendicular lengths are different and that forms are called an ellipse right so this is an ellipse right that is lengths are different so here this is an a b this is an a b and c d where a b is not equal to c d it may be like this different so a b is not equal to c d 
which one is greater that will depends but that shape is called an ellipse now uh, when alpha is equal to beta exactly in that case what will happen when alpha is equal to beta alpha is equal to beta then plane cuts the conic 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 and the shape which will be obtained which will be obtained is called parabola parabola see how that if this is an alpha this plane is there and it must be parallel to this generator right now this is a generator you know that generator and this must be parallel so in that case this and this will be what these two will be described as uh, alternate angle and alternate angle are same so if you cut like this then it will be some part of cone will be directly eliminated and the shape which will be obtained that is called parabola so here the shape which will be obtained uh, that is a parabola so this type of shape will be obtained you know so if you intersect them then this type of shape will be obtained that is what will we will get it right now so here the, this is shape is called parabola or this type of shape will be also obtained in both the cases the shape is like this and this is called parabolic shape this shape is called parabolic so here the shape is obtained what we only we will obtain either in this way or that way so that will be a parabola so this shape is called parabolic right and uh, this shape is called parabolic and that is called parabola i hope you got it so this type of shape is called parabola that one is called axis of parabola this is the vertex that we will le learn later right now but this is called parabola this shape is called parabola you know so this is a parabola now when beta is but case 4 case 4 when beta is less than alpha but greater than 0 then plane will cut plane will cut the conic both the nap both nap plane will cut both the nap both nap of the conic in above all cases only one nap but plane will cut both nap of the conic of the conic and the structure which will be obtained by intersection of plane by intersection of plane is called parabola is hyperbola plane is called hyperbola hyperbola right that is called hyperbola see here if this is a beta is much lesser than alpha and greater than zero then this plane will make so here is a beta angle and that will cut two so there will be upper post cut portion is this and lower portion is this in that case it will form an hyperbola so a structure will be like that that upper portion is like this and lower portion is like this so this is called hyperbola right and the axis of this will be like this okay? so here this structure is called a hyperbola so this type of a structure what we will obtain that is called hyperbola so you have seen here from the blue lines it is already marked here so that will be hyperbola i hope you are getting this point right now so this is called hyperbola so these are the few situations where plane cuts other than the vertex of the double tapped conic now the situation comes that when plane cut through the vertex then what will happen that is the plane passes through the vertex then in that case what will happen let us discuss this when plane cut through 
the vertex of vertex of double tap double nap right circular cone right circular cone circular cone and then the following situation will then the following possibility following possibility possibility may be possible following possibility may be seen following possibilities are there right now following possibilities let me write following possibilities possibilities are second right now case first in that case what will happen case first when beta is greater than alpha but less than equal to 90 degree then the section of conic then section of conic is a point is a point section of conic is a point nothing else just a point case 2 when beta is equal to alpha beta is equal to alpha the plane contains the plane contains the gener a generator of a generator of the cone a generator of the cone cone and the section is a straight line is a straight line straight line it is a degenerated case of it is degenerated case of degenerated case of it is degenerated case of parabola parabola right third case is that when beta is less than alpha and greater than 0 then section of conic is a intersection line then section of conic is a intersecting line intersecting lines line intersecting straight lines straight lines right now intersecting straight line it is degenerated case of hyper it is degenerated case of case of hyperbola hyperbola degenerated case of hyperbola right okay so here is the possibility plane is parallel perpendicular to that is when plane is perpendicular to perpendicular to the axis of conic axis of conic axis of double tap double nap right circular cone right circular cone and passes through and passes through passes through and passes through vertex then the point of intersection edge then the intersection edge a point then the intersection of plane and one is a point point this is a point you know this one is a point that is a point and that will be the same I hope you got it.
So here the shape will be this is point of intersection and that will be a point only. So here the output is a point, point only, that is a point, right? So it will be a point. Now when alpha is equal to beta, when alpha is equal to beta, that is the plane makes an angle what is the same is the same the angle made angle made by generator angle made by generator by generator with axis with axis then alpha and beta are then alpha and beta are vertically opposite angle vertically opposite angle opposite angles in this case this case one of the line passes through passes through plane one of the line of generator one of the generator line line passes through plane passes through plane plane right now hence the intersection is hence the intersection is a straight line intersection is a straight line a straight line you can see that here the intersection is a straight line this one is it so here what will happen here this will be the intersection and that will be a straight line so this is described as a straight line a straight line right so this one is a straight line that will contain here alpha is equal to beta they are vertically opposite angle i hope you got it now the next situation is that when beta is equal to 0 or less than alpha. So if alpha is this one and beta is slightly lesser, these are the vertically opposite angle beta and beta is of course less than alpha. In that case there will be if beta is 0, suppose beta is 0 then this line will completely overlap this axis of conic. So there are two situations. When beta is equal to zero, then there will be a straight line. When beta is equal to zero, then the plane is plane is passing through passing through plane is passing through the axis of conic passing through the axis of right circular right circular double tap double nap cone right and it will represent it will represent a straight line a straight line right a straight line straight line when beta is greater than 0 but less than alpha in that case that case the section of conic the section of conic cone by plane also represent a straight line plane also represent represent a, a straight line 
a state line right also represent a state line i hope you got it so this one is a straight line this one is also a line and this one is also a line so this one is a line right and uh, this one is also a line this one is a straight line when beta is less than alpha when beta is less than alpha a straight line and this one is when beta is equal to zero this line is there when beta is equal to zero beta is equal to zero so in both the cases there are two straight lines i hope you got it okay now the next case is that when beta is next case is when beta is finally next case is when beta is less than alpha and greater than zero when beta is greater than zero and less than alpha in that case what will happen in that case definitely it is greater than zero so here this will be a line this is a beta you know see that so there will be this is a vertical axis it will not pass through this so beta is this one and alpha is this one so in that case this plane will intersect at two straight lines this one is also a line and this one will be also a line so there will be two straight line in that case one line and this is another line so in that case there will be two straight line right now one of the line is this and another line is this so this there are two lines right now so let me write here one so there will be two lines so it will represent a pair of straight line so when beta is less than alpha right then the intersection of planes intersection of then intersection of plane intersection of plane with cone with hollow cylinder cone hollow cylindrical cone represent a pair of straight line a pair of a straight line as shown in the figure right now so these are the following cases and depending upon the intersection of this there will be a different shape of conic so conic section contains even a straight line it contains therefore conic section conic section represent mainly a line circle pair of line parabola and hyperbola parabola ellipse and hyperbola ellipse and hyperbola hyperbola even a point also a point line circle parabola ellipse and hyperbola all these are uh, included in conics with different cases we will discuss them one by one right now one by one till then bye bye god bless keep watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel uh, we will discuss in next session about parabola exclusively circle about circle first and then thereafter parabola ellipse and hyperbola one by one so thank you bye God bless.